Starting your Locker Natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. Locklicious is a Black-owned company that has created an all-natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. The Locklicious team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to Locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Wengil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Nigeria. This is a bizarre story because the Nigerian government is listing the former minister's underwear to be auctioned off along with her buildings and all that stuff that um, they are claiming that she has embezzled. Former Minister Dizani was accused of stealing, being corrupt and um, buying lots of um, houses and investing and you know living a lavish life after stealing from the people. That is what is alleged. Nigeria's main anti-corruption body has issued an international arrest warrant for its former oil minister, Diazani Alison Madike. The authorities accuse her of misappropriating public funds worth several millions of U.S. dollars. Alison Madike is currently being investigated in the United Kingdom, but Nigeria wants her to face trial in her own country for an alleged act of illegal acceptance and given gratifications. The former Nigerian minister in charge of oil is currently in London. She is to appear before Nigeria's Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on February 25th, 2019. So when they're confiscating all her stuff, they've also listed her underwear in the same list. I, I, I mean, they could have left that out. I don't understand why they included it because it's so inappropriate. And how? why would you even sell that? And if somebody bought it, what does that say about that person? Like, what are you encouraging here? So I don't think it was necessary to list her underwear in there. Like, and plus, how much money will you get from that? Like, I understand seizing the houses she stole, you know, the land, the jewelry. I understand that because it will bring back money. What will her drawers do? What will her underwear do? Nothing. So this was really inappropriate coming from the Nigerian government. They should not have done this and hopefully they can rectify it because this is not okay. We understand that she was corrupt and she deserves to face the justice system, but not this way. The people of Nigeria deserve to get justice and they need to get their money back, but this was highly inappropriate. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about the Nigerian government listing this former minister's underwear. Uh, for auction. I am Ogilza Lalem bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.